Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a free online calculator tool called www.desmos.com, both for graphing and for evaluating scientific expressions. So let's get started. To begin, I'm going to type in my search bar www.desmos.com and I'm going to search. When I do, a new window is going to appear and I'm going to click right here where it says graphing calculator. Voila, we have a window. On the right side is where I can do graphs and look at graphs, but on the left side is where I can evaluate scientific expressions. And for us, for our course, we need to be able to evaluate scientific expressions. So I'm going to focus on this window over here. I'm going to expand it, and right here in this box is where I'm going to do my typing. Down here in the bottom left is a keypad, and you can activate that keypad, or you can use your keyboard with your computer to actually type the expressions in. So let's say I want to go over here and I have this expression, this complicated formula here. It's an annuity formula and I want to input this into Desmos. So I'm trying to figure out what P sub zero is. That means I want to evaluate this scientific expression or this numerical expression right here. So let's start by typing. I'm going to start with my numerator first and I'm going to input 7500 or 7500. And then I need a big parentheses, so I'm going to use the parentheses and automatically Desmos sets me up and I'm going to put another parentheses, correct, and I'm just going to copy this expression just as it appears. That's 1 plus, now I have a fraction, so I'm going to type in the numerator 0 0.04 and then I'm going to hit divide by 12. And notice Desmos just puts it in as a fraction for us. I can use my cursor or my mouse to click and close that parentheses. And now I notice I need an exponent. I need to write 36 up there. So I'm going to use this key here, A to the B, and I'm going to click that key and Desmos automatically puts, up, puts our cursor up into the exponential position. I can also use Shift-6 on the computer keyboard, the caret symbol, and that does the same thing. So anyways, we're up in our exponent, and I want to type 36, and now I need to come back down. Again, I can use my mouse and click, or I can also show these two arrow buttons right here underneath the word function will move my cursor down and around and through that expression forward and back. So I can use these arrow keys as well to scroll through my expression. I need to finish by typing minus 1 and close that parentheses up. Now I'm almost done. I have a denominator. And how do we get that denominator? Well, again, we hit the symbol divide. And that puts us down in the bottom or in the denominator of this expression right here. I need 0 0.04 divide 12. So let's put parentheses. 0 0.04 divide 12, parentheses closed. Whoops. Well, I have an extra parentheses. That's OK. It's not going to affect, but I want to make it look exactly like the expression I have on right. So I'm going to move through my cursors. Notice I hit this delete button right here. And now I'll close up my parentheses. And now my expression matches identically to the one that I want it to match to. And my answer appears right here in Desmos. That's 286,361. If we're rounding to the nearest hundredth or the nearest cent, it would be 0.72. And that's it. That's how easy it is to use Desmos as a scientific calculator.